about the many different groups involved in these demonstrations in the United States. We're joined now by Sean Van Diver. He is the director of the Truman National Security Project in San Diego, and he is joining us from San Diego. Hi there, Sean. Welcome to the broadcast. Hi. Thanks for having me on. So, Sean, we're hearing all these terms, white supremacists, white nationalists, Ku Klux Klan, neo-Nazis. Obviously, in the United States, we know uh, these terms and these groups all have a very evil, negative connotation. But tell us the real difference between them. So, you know, I, actually, the, the difference isn't that important. These are all folks that are, are nationalists. They believe that, um, that the color of your skin trumps all else, and they believe that the, the United States and, and European countries should be only white, uh, white states and white countries. And, and that's just wrong. We, you know, we fought whole, the entire world fought a war about this. It shouldn't, like, it shouldn't take guys like me coming on, on the news to say that Nazis are bad. Nazis are bad. And the world over, we know that Nazis are bad. Germany knows better than anybody that Nazis are bad. And that's why you know, we, we saw flare-ups last weekend, and we've seen these folks make a, uh, make a resurgence. Uh, but I think, I think we're, what we're seeing is that the general public is coming back out and saying, hell no, get out of here. We don't support your hate. We don't support this filth. And uh, we don't want to hear what you have to say, because what you have to say is wrong. President Trump calling these counter demonstrators the alt left. What do you think he means by that? Uh, well, there, there is no such thing as the alt left. Um, there's, you know, they've made a lot of accusations about groups like Antifa and other anti-fascist organizations, but the reality is that they they were saving lives in Charlottesville last weekend. The uh, the neo Nazis, the uh, Chris Cantwell and his and his ilk, were were incredibly violent. They were they were trying to break through protest lines. And these anti-fascist org organizations, while they have shown some instances of violence, were really saving lives there in, in Charlottesville last week. And I, and I would posit that without them there, there would have been a greater loss of life. Are you shocked when you see all these images of this, this negativity and this hate that still exists? You know, I've, I would love to say that I am shocked. But we saw with Brexit and Nigel Farage in, in Europe, we saw with the election of Donald Trump, with Putin's resurgence with Russia becoming a global power again, we've seen that that these this type of uh, speech, this nationalism, um, it has been making a resurgence. So I, I'm, but I'll tell you what I was I was at a VFW or at American Legion a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about these nationalist organizations, and this was before Charlottesville. But we were talking about Nazis, neo Nazis, and, and the Confederate folks with a bunch of veterans and to a person, you're hard pressed to find somebody like me who served the country who doesn't think that, that this has no place in our country or anywhere in the world. And we're still willing to, to fight and still willing to get out there and, and make sure everybody knows that, that this kind of behavior is, is absolutely unacceptable and uh, it has no place in our society. And, and I think that the White House is getting that message. Well, quickly, let me just ask you, what do we do with all of the, the history that is you know, on the streets in places like New Orleans, Louisiana, or Washington, where we see uh, Confederate uh, leaders? It is part of the US history. Sure. What do you do with that? Do you cover it up? So I have a, I have a couple things to say about that. One, uh, sure, it's, it's, it's our history. But we, we have this thing called the internet, and we have a bunch of books that we could read. Um, the same people that, that talk about one of the problems in our society being that everybody gets a participation trophy are the same people trying to give participation trophies to losers and traitors. These folks lost a war. They fought a war in our country, the Confederacy, based solely upon slavery. Don't believe the hype. It was about slavery. Um, and these, these statues and monuments that are all across the country weren't even erected at, right after that war. They were erected in the 20s. They were erected in, uh, there, there's kind of two periods in history where these things came out, and it's during the Jim Crow years and during the Civil Rights Movement, when, when hate groups were trying to suppress minorities and people of color and their vote and their voices. And they erected these things all across the country. So they, they don't matter. They should all be taken down. They don't have any place in our society. Instead, every one of those things should be replaced with memorials to, uh, to uh, post-9-11 veterans, to, to folks that had to fight so hard for the civil rights, to, to any group that, that kind of that, that, that is about the fabric of our society.